वेलकम बैक टू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ साइंस हाउ आर यू माई लिटिल स्टार्स आई होप यू आर इन गुड हेल्थ टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ हैव अ गुड रमदान प्रे एंड मेक द मोस्ट ऑफ दिस ब्लेस्ड मंथ हैव यू वॉच ऑल माई साइंस वीडियोज इन केस इफ यू हैव मिस्ड यू कैन गो बैक टू द अल मोतसम चैनल इन यूट्यूब एंड वॉच इट and if you want to watch it again you are most welcome watch and learn we have finished all the lessons in science and my last video was the revision part 1 now i am going to continue with the part 2 i hope you have your science workbook your pencil eraser and a sci- and your science textbook on the table i would want you to first watch the video learn do a revision with me then you can watch this video again and complete your workbook i will also attach the notes with the video your pa- your parents will guide you regarding this and will help you in your workbook okay so let's get started in your workbook page number 123 exercise d circle the correct answers for the following questions we will read the question and also the options and the correct answer is already circled for you and i will explain it to you okay question number 1 hydroelectric power station means option a a toy water mill option b electricity made with the force of water Let's see how a how a hydroelectric power station looks like. Can you see this picture? This is a hydroelectric power station. We know that electricity is produced in a power station. But what is hydroelectric? Hydro in science means water. So, when electricity is produced with the help of water, yes, that place is called as hydroelectric power station you can see a strong force of water falling from huge dams and you can see a pylon there right with thick wires from which the electricity can be passed around so now we know that hydroelectric power station means electricity made with the force of water so it's option b okay Second question why can a racing car be driven so fast option a it has a very powerful engine option b there are no brakes in the racing car do you know heart is the most important part of our body why because it pumps blood around the body therefore it provides us oxygen so it is one of the most important part engine is a very important part of any vehicle so if you have a powerful engine the vehicle can drive fast and a racing car has a very powerful engine so a racing car can be driven so fast because it has a very powerful engine so we are going to circle option a question number 3 how can a table or chair move on their own or is it option b if we push or pull them option a says on their own or option b says if we push or pull them we know that a table or chair cannot move on its own right an external force has to move it an outside force has to move a table or chair they cannot move on their own so i am going to circle option b if we push or pull them let's move to the question number 4 if you blow a drinking straw at a ping pong ball it will option a change directions option b ping pong ball is heavy it will not move Now you can see in this picture a child is blowing a drinking straw at a ping pong ball. Do you think this ball is able to move? Let me give you a very quick example. If you hold a piece of paper 
and blow it, does it move? Why is it moving? It moves. But why? Because it is not heavy. It is light. Same way, a ping pong ball is not heavy. It is light compared to other balls. So if you blow, it will move. So here the child is moving, the, ch the child is blowing a drinking straw at a ping pong ball. So it will change its direction and move whichever direction you blow the air into. Okay. Question number five. What kind of damage can the strong winds do? Is it option A? Trees might fall and houses might crumble down. Crumble here means break into pieces. Or is it option B? Only a balloon can fly. We know that trees are very strongly rooted under the ground. Imagine how strong the winds should be that the trees are falling down, right? So if they are strong winds, you must have experienced some heavy sandstorms, right? You can feel the strong winds then. Here you can see this picture that the tree has fallen down on a house, right? And it has damaged the house. Now. If you see in this picture, there are so many trees around. What if all those trees fall on this house? It will crumble down into pieces, right? So I'm going to circle option A. If there are strong winds, the damage can be the trees will fall on objects like houses and it can crumble down into pieces. Option, question number six. What do foxes, rats and hedgehogs eat to survive in the towns and cities? Option A, junk food from the restaurant. Option B, scraps of food from the dustbin. We had studied that these animals can stay in towns and cities. Why? Because their needs are met. They can survive on the food which we drop it near the dustbins. Right? So, scrap means leftover food. I am going to circle option B, scraps of food from the dustbin. And that is the correct answer. Question number seven. Which are the animals commonly kept as pets by the people? Option A, cats. Option B, dogs. Option C, lizards. Let's see the picture. That's right. Dogs and cats are commonly kept, kept as pets by the people. They even name them with some cute names. Right? If you had to keep a pet, what would you name them? Think about it. Question number 8. So here in question number 7, I am going to circle option A and option B. Cats and dogs. Question number 8. Trees are a gift by God to us because Option A. They clean the air we breathe. Option B. They provide shelter and food. Or option C. It does not look beautiful. Let's have a look. The trees provide shelter and food for animals and birds, including us, right? So are they a gift by God to us? They are indeed a gift to the world because they are always giving. They keep our clean, they keep our air clean. And they also give us food and shelter. Shelter means home. They Now, just imagine if you are in a hot summer, okay, and you are outside, you are playing, and you are really tired. If you go and stand under the shade of a tree, or if you just go under the tree, it's giving you shelter. How peaceful it is, right? You automatically feel so good. And... He, the trees are protecting you from the hot temperature. So, trees are a gift by God. They give home to many insects and animals. And they also provide food like fruits, right? And they also clean the air we breathe. So, I'm going to circle option A and option B. Question number 9. Humans are different from other animals because option A, we can read and write. Option B, we have created new things like car and computer. Option C, 
only shape and size is different let's have a look humans are different from other animals because we can see here two little scientists they are working on something right that means human beings have an ability to think we can read and write unlike other animals and option b we can create new things like car and computers so we are more smarter than other animals i'm going to circle option a and option b question number 10 iyad and zayed are 7 years old they are brothers they look similar to each other how is that possible option a they are wearing same types of clothes and option b they are identical twins so we had studied about twins right let's have a look at iyad and zayed they are 7 years old they are brothers they are also wearing similar shirts but that does not mean that they are they are very similar just because they are brothers they look similar to each other how is it possible so just because they are wearing same kind of dress that does not mean that they are twins or you know they look very similar it's because of their face and because they are identical twins they resemble a lot their facial features resemble a lot they are identical twins identical twins are those who look very similar to each other so we are going to circle option b they are identical twins and not because they are wearing same type of clothes option b question number 11 which is the world's heaviest insect a bed bugs or b goliath beetle from africa do you know which insect is this this is goliath beetle from africa and it's one of the it is the world's heaviest insect it belongs to the beetles family that means beetles are a form of insects goliath beetles are the heaviest insects in the world and they are found in africa okay so we are going to circle option b question number 12 how can you understand the identity of the plant option a by tasting their leaves option b by looking at the shape of the flowers and leaves wow i can see some beautiful flowers here different type of flowers now i don't have to taste their leaves to know the names right i can look at the shape of this flowers their leaves their flowers and then i can name them for example there is a difference between a rose plant how it looks its leaf looks different and its flower also looks different it is completely different from a daisy plant so by looking at the shape of the flowers and leaves i can understand the identity or name of the plant so i'm going to circle option b all right so let's move on to the exercise e answer the following questions question number 1 how does a fish move Do you know the answer? A fish moves with their fins and tail. Because of fin and tail, the fish can swim easily in the water. Okay, it can move easily in the water. Without fin and tail, it cannot move. Question number 2. What happens to a cycle when we pull on the handlebars of it? If you know how to ride a cycle you will tell me this answer very quickly right if you are pedaling your cycle and you want to move to left or right you have to put some force on the handlebars right you can see a cyclist here he is able to move or change the directions because he is pulling on the handlebars right so the cycle change what happens to a cycle when we pull on the handlebars he is able to change the direction the cycle changes the direction okay so 
I'll repeat again question number two. What happens to a cycle when we pull on the handlebars of it? When we pull on the handlebars, the cycle changes the direction. You can see this in the video, right? Question number three. What food do we get from plants and trees? That's right. We get fruits and vegetables. So we get healthy food from plants and trees. Like apple, orange, strawberries, yummy bananas, right? And carrots, broccoli and tomatoes. So you can enjoy a good salad with the vegetables and you can also enjoy a nice fruity milkshake, right? Like apple milk, uh, like strawberry banana milkshake. That would be really nice. And you can enjoy a nice fresh apple and a nice orange juice. So healthy food is always good for your tummy. Question number four. What is a habitat? The place where plants and animals live is called its habitat. Like you can see, a fish can live inside the water. So that's its habitat. Wild animals can live in forests. And plants like cactus can grow easily in a desert. So that is their habitat, right? What about us? That's right. Uh, we human beings can survive anywhere. We can live anywhere where our needs are met. And we, can, we stay mostly in towns and cities. Right? Question number five. Which animals build their nests in city trees? Option A. Sorry. I am still in exercise D. We are in answer the following questions. Which animals build their nests in city trees? If you know more, you can write them. You can write them also. I have given you two. You can also think of other animals who build their nests in city trees and write them. Okay. But we know that birds like pigeons and animals like squirrels, they can build their nests in city trees and live a comfortable life. Question number six. What is a weed? If you see this picture, you can see that a gardener or somebody, they are trying to remove this plant from there, right? This is a weed plant, which is not wanted in the garden. A plant which grows where it is not wanted is called as weed. Okay? What is a weed? A plant which grows where we don't want it. Where it is not wanted. Question number seven. Which animal can do the most clever and difficult things in the world? This is very easy. I think you know this answer, right? Human beings are the most clever animals in the world because we can read and write. We can create new things, right? We can read and write and we can be the best. We can also score an A plus because we have the ability to think. We can, we are smarter than other animals. All right, so let's dive into the world of worksheets. So we, it's worksheet time. Do you enjoy worksheets? I think you do. So let's get started. Your worksheet one, you have to identify these objects which help people to move. Circle and color the object that needs fuel to move. If you look at the first picture on the left side, you can see a vehicle. Do you know what which vehicle is that? It's a transport. Transport means which helps people to move from one place to another. It's a train, right? And on the right side, you can see what is that called as those shoes? 
which helps you to walk in ice those are ice skates what are they ice skates ice skates help you to move on the ground on the ice ground okay so people play sports like ice hockey using ice skates okay and um, so here we are going to circle train and we will color train in the worksheet and you know train needs fuel ice skates it does not need fuel you know what is a fuel petrol diesel these these are called as fuel which we need to put it inside a vehicle so that it can move but ice skates don't need a fuel train needs a fuel so that it can move from one place to another so we are going to circle train identify this objects which help to move the same we are going to continue can you tell me what is this aircraft what is the name of this aircraft it's a jet and on the right side can you tell me what is the name of this vehicle it's a truck jets on the left side you can see it is called a jet you're going to circle jet jets are very fast compared to other airplanes okay compared to other aircrafts jet is the fastest you're going to circle jet and you can color jet and on the right side you can see a truck do you know why we use trucks trucks help in loading heavy things from one place to another they can shift easily now for example if you want to move from your house you're planning to shift to another house you can call anybody uh, for this service where you know they're going to pack all these things all your house materials and put it in the truck and they can shift it from your house to whichever place you want to go trucks are usually used where uh, the road distance is not very far uh, in the towns and cities i mean trucks can be used to a great distance also but we also use trucks to shift things from one place to another heavy items especially heavy things so i want to make it clear for you trucks can be driven to a greater distance also okay and it helps in carrying heavy things so we are going to circle jet and truck and you can also color them all right and the last one can you identify what is this cyclist doing he is using some vehicle here right what is it called as cycle does a cycle need fuel to move a cycle does not need fuel it does not need petrol or diesel to move all it needs is your strong legs so it can push and the cycle will easily move okay with with your force so in my previous slide i had shown you that jet and truck right we are going to circle these two these two different objects they also need um fuel to move okay they need petrol or diesel to move around and that is why we are going to circle and color these objects okay okay worksheet number 2 now you have to do match the following here do you want to try great i hope you did it before me blowing a ping pong ball changes direction so that's why we are going to write one there table cannot move on its own so we are going to write two push object moves away from you that will be three and the last one is pull object moves towards you and the last one would you would write it as four okay so this is how you will do your match the following you will match and then write the numbers on the right on the extreme right side okay on the right column 
वर्कशीट नंबर थ्री आई थिंक वी हैव डन दिस वर्कशीट बिफोर राइट यू मस्ट बी नोइंग दिस यू विल लुक एट दिस एनिमल यू नो द नेम्स ऑफ दिस एनिमल्स राइट ना यू हैव टू टेल मी इफ दे कैन लिव ऑन लैंड वॉटर और एयर डॉग डॉग्स लिव ऑन लैंड सो वी आर गोइंग टू राइट एल फिश लिवस इन वॉटर सो वी आर गोइंग टू राइट डब्ल्यू पिजन कैन लिव ऑन लैंड एंड ऑल्सो यू कैन सी mostly flying in air so you're going to write l and a number 4 snakes how does it make sound s right it's hissing so snakes where do they live land and water what about butterfly they can live on land and also fly in air frogs they can live on land and in water worksheet number 4 circle the birds and animals which make their homes in towns and cities you can have a look at all these animals and tell me Which are the birds and animals you can find in home, uh, in towns and cities? No, tiger cannot be found. Elephant cannot be found. And deer also cannot be found. Squirrel, mouse, and dog. So you are going to circle these birds and animals. Okay, there is no bird here. You are going to circle the animal here. which makes their homes in towns and cities okay in your previous worksheet you had a bird also but we i have removed that bird here just a little change in your worksheet all right so that kept you thinking right where is the bird so that's that's why i want you to read the question properly and then you can answer it okay you can identify the season worksheet number 5 identify the season by looking at the trees given below can you look at the season identify the season and identify the season by looking at the trees given below in the first picture you can see the new leaves growing and also can you tell me which season is it i think i already helped you here it's spring season right so in sing, in spring season the new leaves grow on the trees and you can also see some flowers blooming in spring season and on the right side you can see a tree with fully grown leaves and also fruits which are ready to be plucked right so that is the season of hot summer and that is the beach time right on the left side you can can you tell me which season it looks like because most of the leaves all the leaves have fallen down and it looks chilly and cold can you tell me which season is cold which season is that winter and the last on the right side you can see a picture there you can see the leaves are falling down from the trees right can you tell me which season is that where the tree uh, where the leaves fall down from the trees it's the autumn season okay worksheet number 6 you're going to match the following you're going to match the the birds and animals here 
with their eating habits or whatever they eat the most or enjoy the most birds eat, feed on seeds monkeys can enjoy banana cow feed on grass rabbit can munch on carrots and lions they are meat eaters so we have done the match the following and i have written the answers in the extreme right column right as you match them you can write the numbers there on the right side and worksheet number 7 identify the body parts and write their names the first body part here is called as shoulder okay second picture is an ear the third picture where the arrow mark is showing that is called an elbow the arrow mark is showing you an ankle the next picture you can see a red bright heart right heart after that you can see an arrow mark showing you the brain you can also see an arrow mark showing the knee that is a knee okay moving on eye this body part helps you to see right eye forehead the last one is forehead that is exactly the space above your hair uh, below your hair and above your eyebrows the space between your hair and eyebrows that place is called as forehead okay all right so now we have completed a revision for the second term i hope you enjoyed all the science videos my dear students enjoy science really science is an art it's like magic but it is real it talks about life with facts with truth okay it allows you to be creative express your ideas it helps you to understand this world and outside world better and it encourages you to think i am sharing few websites here okay where you can go check all these websites on the right side you can see nasa's kids club brain pop science discovery kids science kids national geographic kids so you can go and discover all these websites and trust me you will enjoy all the activities there so i really love science because it helps me to enjoy and understand the nature better it allows me to question it allows me to observe observe means to watch and then question okay and the more you watch and you observe and you question about things around you you will get to understand better your surroundings your nature and the things around because we are curious we are very curious animals and because of that we have been inventing new things we have made our work and our life easy thanks to science thanks to questioning and finding out the truth and we have discovered so many machines so many things which has made our life easy thanks to science so my curious little scientists explore that's it that's all for your level 1 science i thoroughly enjoyed all the videos i had a little time with you i would just interact with these videos but i really enjoyed i understood your um, i understood the level 1 science with you along with you and i had a great time 
and i hope to see you really soon inshallah take good care of yourself bye bye my little scientists and please do watch all the videos and make sure you complete all your work okay bye bye lots of love